but the brotherly love was never lost. I mean, when the first lady just says that your elder brother is gone, we used to call each other elder, younger brother, or Big G, I used to call him Big G. He was a, a very affable persona, very affable persona, very jovial. When the political uh, debates heat, heating up, he would say, hey, Venani, I'm not your poli I'm not your equal, I'm the president of Namibia. Then I say, President Gengob, I'm the opposition leader of Namibia, and I was not born under a tree. So we, we used to joke with one another. We shared many life experiences. At the time, he was my marriage counselor, I was his marriage counselor. We were friends at committee levels. We, we were very close, very, very close. Our closeness would, would transcend the political divides that was there. We would always look out for each other, wishing each other well in difficult times, even when my sister passed away. Uh, on the 10th of January, we sent each other. That's the last time that we communicated when he was traveling, wishing him well, spoke to the First Lady, and so it was a continuous engagement. And he was a man of, of, of the people. One thing about Hage, he was a political bully. I would not even hide a bit about that. But as a human being, he had a small heart. The stature was so big, but he was very friendly, you know, and uh, so we remember that of him. And he's a man who has really helped our state crafting in, in modernization. He modernized our Namibian politics. He modernized democracy. There was a time when this friendship was blossoming. A lot of people were saying, Hage is joining DTA because then he was backbencher, or I was joining Swapo on the DTA side. But then we maintained those, that relationship for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And it helped the country because it has narrowed the gap. If you look at what was the politics 20 years ago and now, Politics is very, it's very different. Uh, we have friends across party lines, we have friends across tribal lines, and one thing that he has done so well is nation building. And the fact that we have the peace and stability since independence is greatly, you know, to be attributed to him and the former, former, uh, I'll say the, the, the father of the nation, because of, of their policies and the way they uh, institute. Uh, you know, different policies in the country, uh, reconciliation and everything that goes with that. I think Dr. Kainkop must get credit for all, for most of these things because he was the one who was executing the policies of the government and he did it with excellence.